Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is all about my travel must-haves as a mom to a toddler slash young child, especially if you are an anxious or nervous traveler. Even before I became a mom, I was a very, very nervous and anxious traveler, and then something kind of just happened when I became a mom. A lot of my anxieties were heightened. A lot of the work that I had been doing on myself uh, kind of undid itself a little bit and I had to redo it. So recently we went on our first family flight as a family of three with a young child and it was something that I had to work through very very hard on my own and it can sound very silly, it can sound very obvious, but these are some of the things that really helped me while we prepped for our basic a trial flight before our longer flights moving forward. It seems silly, most people have traveled with babies, newborns even, and of course toddlers, but we waited about four years in order to fly with my daughter for the first time. And it wasn't something we necessarily planned, it was just how our lives were going. I got pregnant during 2020, so there was definitely no flying around that time and there wasn't any need for us to be traveling. And then shortly after delivery, I had a very, very difficult postpartum journey. If you've been following me around, then you know that I struggled very, very deeply and for a very long time. So traveling by air was not something that we were needing to do or decided to add to our list of things to do. But I really wanna travel. I want the nugget to experience the world and I'm ready to start to experience the world again. And I wanna work on this fear I have. So these are all of my must-haves for traveling specifically for flights with a young child and with somebody as an adult, a mom, who tends to be on the more anxious side when flying. The first thing I want to talk about is having a really reliable and functional kids carry-on luggage. Originally we had purchased the Jet Kids and I bought it from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and we loved it for road trips. But I very quickly realized that Jet Kids was just not going to cut it for us because it was too small. You could barely fit three days worth of kids clothes in there and if I was using it for flights it was going to be very challenging to keep the insert for the design of the jet kits to become like a layout situation in the airline seats. It wasn't a very functional piece of luggage. It was fun. The Nugget absolutely fell in love with it in the store, which is why I waited for the anniversary sale to purchase it at a discount, but it was still rather expensive for the lack of functionality in terms of it as a luggage piece. It's fun to ride and it's great that it has its own little carrier for a bed that basically lifts up and you can use it in the airline as a full layout for your toddler or your young kid. But it also had a little bit of a smaller age range. The child must be old enough and agile enough to sit upright and hang on to the jet kids while riding and it doesn't last a very long time because once your child starts to reach 40 inches or a little bit heavier, it starts to max out on the jet kids. I was kind of disappointed in this purchase, but you know, you live and you learn, first time mom, so don't make my mistake. Instead, I would recommend the micro kickboard carry-on luggage. I did a lot of research, I did a lot of reviews, reading of actual owners of this product and purchasers of the product, and I ended up going with this. I bought it off of Amazon, and I heard it was functional as a carry-on, as well as a seat and a ride-on. When we went on the flight, we did not bring our stroller with us because I wanted as little to deal with at the airport as possible. We were also only traveling with carry-on only luggage. So I wanted my daughter's carry-on luggage to be functional for the airport as well as for the trip. What I liked about the micro kickboard carry-on is that it is very, very sturdy. The wheels are just like the micro kickboards, very good quality, very smooth ride, and the luggage has two compartments. I was able to pack an entire three to five days worth of clothing in the main compartment, along with her shoes, bathing suit, and socks and underwear. I was also able to allow her to bring three different stuffed animals in the other compartment, as well as stuff a toddler toilet just in case we had a potty incident 
in this carry-on compartment. In terms of the ride and the seat, it was a hit. Once I realized the jet kit just wasn't gonna work for us, I quickly ordered it and hoped that it was gonna arrive in time before our trip. So once it arrived, it was about two days before our trip, the Nugget was obsessed with it. She was like, is this for me? This is for me. Something about toddlers and young children, they get really excited about luggage. So I do also recommend surprising them with a piece of luggage if it's your first trip or they're older and you wanna surprise them, they get really excited about that trip. So she was really, really excited. She was getting to know her luggage. She loved that she was able to ride along. I loved that it was really smooth to pull her along the airport. Both Chris and myself were able to do it without any issues. The best part was she had her own seat at the airport or when we were waiting for our rental car or anytime we just were kind of standing and waiting around. It is very easy to fold in those wheels so that you can use it as a traditional roller carry-on. And it's also really easy to fold and push it down so that you can lift it up and put it in the overhead compartment. I cannot rave enough about this piece of luggage. Everybody who saw us using it was absolutely like blown away by it, thought it was so cool. Those who had kids were asking me where I got it. Those who had had kids said that they wish they had it for their younger children or when their children were younger. And those who didn't even have kids wish that they had it for themselves because you know, sometimes seats are limited. Sometimes you're just waiting around and there is no seating. So this was a great carry on for a young child. I think the max weight limit is about 50 pounds. So we are going to be able to use this for quite some time. And I'm very excited to go on our overseas trip with this piece of luggage. Must have item number two is noise canceling headphones. I got Chris and myself updated noise canceling headphones because it is something that I find to be very helpful, especially when loud noises and constant humming tends to increase my anxiety. So I have the Sony ones. I waited for these to go on sale. They'd been in my wish list for a while. I got these off Amazon and then I got the ones for Chris. I will have to link the ones I got him specifically, but they were, I think JBL and he got the black ones. I wanted to try both of them out based on different price points and to see which ones we preferred better. Now, I liked these a lot. They did a good job at being noise canceling. Even when I don't have the noise canceling function on, I am immediately kind of in my own world. Once I turn the noise canceling function on, so even if I'm not watching a show on my phone or iPad, or even on the screen in the airline, will have the noise canceling function on. It is said to help with anxiety and jet lag because of the constant humming of the airline, as well as all of the noises that might be going on. So I really like this. I had never had a pair that were Bluetooth, so I didn't know how I was going to like it. The Sony ones, I haven't had to charge it since I bought it like maybe a month ago. I also don't really use my headphones outside of air travel or airport because I just prefer to not have things in my ears. So it's something that you might want to look into if you are someone who deals with jet lag or anxiety, get good quality noise canceling headphones and just turn on the noise canceling function even if you're not listening to anything. If I'm taking a nap, I'll use this with the noise canceling function on. And I'm really excited at the battery life because I know I'm gonna be able to do a long haul flight with just one charge. Now there is also cords with these, which I like. I can plug this into the airline or I can plug it into my phone. If for whatever reason, I don't want the Bluetooth function or the Bluetooth function isn't working um, on my phone, whatever, technology, right? The more options you have, the better it is at times. You do need to download the app for the Sony headphones in order to kind of connect to different devices. That's the one downside about these headphones, but outside of that, I really enjoyed them and I just recommend any type of noise canceling headphones. There's so many from like 30 bucks all the way to $300 these days. You don't need to spend a ton of money, just find one with good reviews. 
This might seem obvious, but download as many episodes of entertainment for your child and for yourself. Do not forget about yourself. So for the nugget, we actually sat down together with our older iPad and we looked through some of the download options on Netflix and Disney Plus. And this got her excited for the trip because she was able to choose which shows and movies she wanted to download special for the trip. And then we did it like maybe the night before or the day before and I put the iPad away because it was for the trip. So she was very, very excited to be able to watch the shows she got to pick out for herself while we were at the airport and on the airline. And then for me, I downloaded Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I read the entire series and I really enjoyed it, especially for um, a YA novel series. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did, but I ended up gobbling up all three books. So I was excited that Netflix turned it into a series as well. And typically these days, I don't get very far into series. I don't watch a lot of Netflix or anything anymore because of my schedule, just because of my life, um, my lifestyle these days. So I was really excited to download all of the episodes and take my time and watch it on the flight. It was also just really more relaxing for me to be able to turn on my show, have the noise canceling headphones on once I got the nuggets settled on the flight, and we were able to just enjoy some peace. There was no way I was ever going to be able to watch this show at home unless I stayed up late and watched it and I much rather read books in bed than watch shows in bed I know maybe I'm maybe I'm not normal maybe I'm the like one percent that enjoys that but maybe not I downloaded that series I was able to finish it throughout our trip and then the nugget downloaded I have to it was like a vet show she was so excited about it and I also of course had some tried and true like frozen and tangled download enough or max out your storage space on your devices because even though your flights might have wi-fi it's not guaranteed to work and it can always be spotty so always 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 download max out your storage space uh, learn don't don't even mess with the wi-fi unless you have to Clorox wipes and hand wipes. Now, before we even sit down, I am the person that is going to take a Clorox wipe, wipe down every surface that myself or my daughter might ever touch on the airplane. Why? It's something I've been doing even before I became a mom. When I was an anxious traveler, a lot of it was because I knew every time I traveled, I would get sick. It was guaranteed. If I traveled, if I got into an airplane, I was going to get sick until I started traveling with Clorox wipes and hand wipes. So I started way before I became a mom, wiping down every surface before I sat down in the seat and people would look at me like I was crazy and people thought I was strange, but it helped me a lot when it came to travel and then being sick after I got home or even sometimes while I was on my trip. So I think it's not as weird anymore after 2020, but for sure, especially when you're traveling with a young child with all the germs in the air, with all the germs on surfaces, it's better be it's better to be safe than sorry. I don't care if it takes me an extra few seconds. I usually leave all my luggage while Chris starts to load it up and I will go in there with the wipe ready to go. I wipe down the wall, the window shade, the tray tables, and as it's closed, the backing of the seat in front of me. I wipe down the seat belt metal part as well as the cloth part, hand rests, the seat, the headrest, everything. Wipe anything down that your kid might touch. And then I wipe down my hands, I wipe the Nuggets hands, I make Chris hand sanitize as well. These are great before you're snacking, before you're eating, before you even start your life, wipe down your hands. So I always have these packs ready to go, easy to reach, right in my carry-on. Another obvious thing is snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. And don't overpay at the airport if you don't have to. So I know when we're about to travel either before a road trip or before a flight, I'm gonna order travel sizes or snack sizes of our favorite snacks. Some of our favorites are the Simple Mills cheese crackers. I love Archer Farms when it comes to beef snacks and epic salmon bites. Things that are non-perishable, that are easy to grab and go, and that I can shove in every nook and cranny between all three of our carry-ons. 
because at any given time, you might get hungry, there might be flight delays, airports might have closures in terms of restaurants, you might have weird timing where restaurants aren't open, and you might never know when you have to wait extra in a line, and snacks are a great distraction for your kids, especially when it's around meal times and you're, you're not able to get to a restaurant or to get a proper meal in. I never used to travel with water bottles because I would just buy one before I got on the flight. But with three people, especially a young child who drinks a lot of water, surprisingly, I definitely brought our water bottles. And I wanna talk about the two that I recommend. For amusement parks and for air travel, I brought the Awala because it is just sleek, it's small, and it's leak-free. I really enjoy this Awala one for more on-the-go situations. And it is just a typical water bottle, but I do like it because it's got the straw function. You can sip or you can gulp. It's completely leak proof, especially if you have all the gaskets. It is a little harder to clean, so I wouldn't bring this one if I was traveling for more than like three or five days because even though I'm rinsing and washing, it's just one of those water bottles that has a lot of nooks, nooks and crannies that you need to pull apart and really let air dry. Like this one's still kind of moist. I need to take that off and let it air dry so it doesn't grow mildew or mold. So that's the thing about the Walla is that even though it's leak proof, it's got a lot of little nooks and crannies. And when you're traveling on the go, it could be hard to keep clean. Now, something I've really been loving and purchased one myself is the Brewmate Eras Tumbler. I got the Emily Kaiser collab and then they actually reached out and sent me another one in I think it's like a minty green and then this one is the 30 ounce so I have two 40 ounces that I use literally every day I love this one and this one's a lot easier to clean and is also leak proof so it's a tumbler this is the 30 ounce I typically put my sodas or coffees in here and it keeps everything nice and cold for over 24 hours it says 24 hours but Chris and I have been able to keep things colder than 24 hours what I like about this one is that everything comes off and is really easy to clean. The straw is stainless steel, so it's gonna keep your beverage cold or hot. It's also so easy to just twist off and clean. The best part about this is the silicone portion of this also comes off, so you can just clean it really easily and let everything dry or wipe it down. So all of the pieces are much easier to get to and remove and actually clean properly. This one though, you have to remember that when you are going to need it to be airtight and sealed so that you can throw it in your bag to make sure to turn this notch to the small notch. If you wanna drink, you turn it to the bump. And if you want it to seal, you turn it the opposite way. So that's just the only thing is like, if you forget to seal it and then you just throw it in your bag, you're going to end up with a mess. But it is completely leak proof as well because of that on off button essentially for the straw. One of my favorite tumblers, 30 ounces plenty for when you're traveling and on the go, 40 ounce is a little cumbersome. I feel like the 40 ounce is better to just stay around the house. But this one, 30 ounce, it's so good. I love, love Brewmate. And I actually got rid of all of my Stanley water tumblers because it didn't keep things as cold it would always get knocked over and spill and I just ended up listing them on my posh items to just have on hand external batteries external batteries external batteries I don't actually have any on me because they're all over the house right now and I forgot to go grab them but my favorite ones are from Anchor. Anchor makes really long lasting, good quality external batteries for all of your devices. There's some that actually come as a stand that's mag safe, and then there's the ones that you just plug in. So between Chris, the Nugget, and myself, we go through our device's battery life so quickly, and that is why I am always touting external batteries. I kind of hoard them because if I if it was up to Chris, he would use all of my external batteries and he's always living the life at like 10% on his devices before he asks me for an external battery. And then of course he's like using it all up to recharge his phone or whatever he's using. And then the Nugget just has the iPad that we let her use when we're traveling. I have my phone, which I work off of, film off of, and use as entertainment while we're traveling. So nothing can just be empty of, of juice. So I typically have the external battery that's in my carry-on. I then have at least two more external batteries, one that's MagSafe with a stand for the Nugget in case she needs it. And 
another MagSafe one that Chris typically has, and then I have another one that is a plug-in because it holds a lot more power and charges a little bit quicker. And then I actually have one from TikTok as well that they gifted me. I don't know what brand that one is, but that one also is like my last resort. That one holds battery life forever. So I charged it like months ago, and when I checked the juice on it, it was still fully, fully charged. So that one is the one that's like my emergency one that I charge and forget about. And if worst case scenario, everybody's battery pack dies, I have that one. The next thing that I highly recommend, which is maybe a little bit more of a privilege, is getting your family TSA pre-check. Now the reason it's a privilege is because it is a paid for service. It's $50 for TSA pre-check, $100 to get global re-entry, which includes your TSA pre-check. So if you think you're ever going to leave the country and come back, I would recommend just opting for global re-entry, which will include your TSA pre-check. Now it is a little bit of a process. You'll have to make reservations you'll have to go in for an interview you will have your entire palm and handprint scanned as well as photo ID so those are things to take into consideration and the fact that if you're a family of three or more it's hundred dollars per person for global re-entry and TSA pre-check or fifty dollars per person for TSA pre-check it's a process you have to apply you have to qualify to apply and you have to have the funds to apply but I am so grateful that we did this because it made going through security so much much easier. With TSA PreCheck, everything is kind of on there. We just have to scan our IDs or our boarding pass and they scan our faces and we go right on through. When it goes through the actual security checkpoint, we don't have to take our shoes off. We don't have to remove our liquids. We don't have to remove our electronics. The electronics and the shoes are kind of a big deal because we've got a toddler slash young child. I don't even know what she counts as these days. And we have a lot of electronics. I usually have my cameras, which is at least one or two different types of cameras, battery packs, small lights, chargers, different iPads for all of us, phones, as well as laptops. So it's a lot of electronics to have to try and keep track of and remove and then show and then pack back in. The shoes just become a little bit more challenging when you've got a kid with you. And I personally like to travel with sneakers or some sort of closed toe shoe because of just in case emergencies you want to be able to have closed toe shoes for whatever emergency might arise one is a little bit of a process and possibly not available for everybody but if you are able to i highly recommend it Number nine is also a little bit of a privileged situation, and that is if your airline offers it, pay for early boarding and seat assignments. My biggest, biggest fear is to be separated from my family when traveling with them. And typically most airlines will allow you early boarding if you have a younger child. I just didn't want to even deal with that. I didn't know what their cutoff was for young children, so I wanted to pay for it. That early boarding was an extra, I think, $20, and it was absolutely worth it to be able to board first. We also opted to pay so that we could make sure we had our seat assignments and that was because i didn't want to come into a situation where we were separated and then i would have to talk to somebody and ask if they would trade with me because maybe they don't want to trade and i don't want to put them in that position i am definitely of the mindset that if you are a family you should ask the airline to be seated together and not make it another passenger's problem obviously things come up planes get switched around, um, flights get canceled. So when it when you have to, I get it, asking a passenger if they would be willing to, but also understanding that the passenger has a right to say no because that's their seat and they paid for it as well. So I want to be respectful to other passengers and I just rather pay if that's an option to get our seats assigned and together. And there was a slight incident where our seats were not together on the flight to our destination. So Chris actually called the airline and said, look, we can't be separated. We have a young child. We need to be seated together. We're happy to pay. And they actually just fixed it for us over the phone. So just be proactive. Call the airlines. I know it's a pain in the butt to try and speak to somebody, but see what you can do and find out what your options are and be open to paying for seat assignments so that you don't 
have to deal with that stress and make it somebody else's problem, especially when it's a passenger or um, you just don't wanna have to be separated from your family and deal with all of that. Number 10 lollipops. Now lollipops are a great way to help children with um, the air pressure when you're doing takeoff and landing. I know when I used to fly, it, the air pressure would used to really bother me as a young child and even to this day, but I do feel like flights are much better these days. Airplanes are much better these days where that air pressure isn't that extreme. But for a child who doesn't really understand what's going on, it can be very bothersome. And for some, it could actually cause um, emotional meltdowns and tantrums and that's okay they're young they're learning they don't understand what's happening to their body but I found that lollipops really help and I actually prefer the beekeepers naturals kids propolis throat soothing lollipops these are like maybe my third pack I've bought so around back to school around that cold and flu season I like to give her these one, they are supposed to help with immunity boosting with the propolis. Two, they're a little bit healthier in the sense that there are less sugar. And it is just going to be a little bit more soothing, especially if they are getting sick because of the honey in it. So there's two grams of sugar per lollipop. They are supposed to help soothe the throat and they have the propolis, which is going to boost their immunity. And I just was like, you know, if I'm gonna give you a sucker, I'm gonna make sure it's at least less in sugar and somewhat beneficial to you. Who knows if it's helpful or not, but I do know that she really enjoys these, looks forward to them, and she just didn't even really, really complain about her ears whatsoever. She did at takeoff after a few minutes was like, I kind of feel a little funny. I feel a little dizzy. And I was like, oh no, are you getting nauseous? And then she kind of went over, she got over it. So this was really helpful for the ear pressure as well as it was exciting for her to have and she was able to get a little bit of immunity boost. Better than just regular sugar lollipops, right? Two grams of sugar, mainly coming from honey and the other ingredients is brown rice syrup, strawberry puree, apple puree, basically a fruit puree for the flavor, elderberry, natural mix of berries, um, monk fruit extract and the propolis. So really liked these for her. My last thing I wanna share with you as an anxious traveler are these compression packing cubes from BagSmart. I have always used packing cubes to help organize everything, but now they have compression ones and the ones from BagSmart I think are the best quality. You can order a set and this is the largest one. I have all the other ones in here. They come in mesh. What I actually like to do is use these to help organize everybody's clothing, especially if you're going to be staying at multiple locations. This is a great way to be like, okay, the first night, making sure we've got pajamas, an outfit, maybe we're swimming, a swimsuit, all that stuff, put it in one bag so that you're only unpacking one cube at each location. And you can also just squish everything down, get all the air out of these bags, and you're able to pack a lot more in your overall baggage because you're able to compress everything press all the air out and keep everything nice and organized. And it helps with your clothing from wrinkling as much as well. So for me, this helps me with my anxiety because it helps me like visualize and organize what we have, what we need. If we're staying in multiple locations, these are the first few outfits. These are the second leg of our trips, few outfits. And then I don't have to unpack everything. I'm not looking for things. I just know where everything is based on these bags. There's also little labels. You can just insert what what's in there so you don't even have to like guess or remember. So Bag Smart compression packing cubes are my favorite. I really like these. I bought these off of Amazon. You can buy them off of TikTok shop as well. Um, Anything that I can find, I will link directly through YouTube. And if I can't link it directly through YouTube, I will link it in the description box for you guys. I also have a shop my, which I link all the things I talk about on all of my socials and content. So you can find everything I might've recommended or talked about at some point on my shop my account. It's just Serene Wu. 
So those are the top 10 things that I recommend when traveling as an anxious traveler and as an anxious traveler that is now a mom. A lot of these items aren't just kid specific. Most of these I would just recommend to anybody traveling who is an anxious traveler. And then the kid specific ones obviously are a little bit more kid specific like the lollipops and the um, kid the kickboard carry on if you have any questions leave them in the comments don't forget i post every day on shorts i post weekly here on long form videos on this channel so don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and find me on all of my socials which i'm very active with every single day if you enjoy reading Substacks or blogs i also have that as well and if there's a specific type of content you would like to see here make sure to leave me suggestions in the comments i hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!